Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the ISS. I'm Dan Hewitt. Spring is bringing a lot of vehicle traffic to and from the station. On Monday, the crew said farewell to the Russian Progress 54 cargo ship, which carried away the station's trash to be burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. This cleared the way for the arrival of Progress 55 two days later on Wednesday. It delivered almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies to the ISS residents. Next up for launch, SpaceX's Dragon on April 14th. As always, we'll have live coverage for you on NASA TV and NASA.gov. The end of March marked 365 days and counting until the start of an exciting first for life on board the ISS. NASA astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko will spend a full year in space as we seek to learn even more about how the human body adapts after spending a very long time in microgravity. You can follow Scott's countdown to launch on Twitter using the hashtag ISS365. Some shocking research is being conducted in the area of space station exercise, literally. The hybrid training experiment is investigating a new technique of applying electrical stimulation to astronauts' muscles. This may help make the crew members two and a half hours of daily exercise even more effective in preventing bone and muscle loss. And if that doesn't already sound like a lot of working out, just remember, every day is leg day in space. This week's social media question is from Kenneth. He asks, has anyone ever attempted surgery on orbit? Well, the short answer is no, nothing as complex as surgery has ever been attempted in microgravity. However, the crew is very well prepared for any onboard medical emergencies. Every one of us is trained as a first aid responder, and even more than that, we have a lot of training in how to take care of each other. If there's an emergency of some kind, if somebody is choking, or if somebody hurts themselves or cuts themselves, and we have all kinds of medical equipment up here. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.